We're back for another unpopular opinion. Uh, pickling is a creative and therapeutic hobby by user heavy underscore worldliness. Heavy, the, the line on the bottom, worldliness, 474. And I forgot the number there. Uh, the title, again, pickling is a creative and therapeutic hobby. Explanation. Just something about sitting down, listening to music, <laughs> and making pickles just hits different. And I think there's an incorrect word here. G-I-S-T. I think it's supposed to be just. But maybe that's not so important. So uh, continuing or from the beginning, just something about sitting down, listening to music, and making pickles just hits different. Plus, it's pretty easy to get the just off. The fuck does that mean? All you need is water and salt and probably some vinegar and let it sit somewhere warm for a week at bare minimum. Can you get something nice as a side dish? This is a difficult one to read. The flavor combination you can use is more fun. I know I didn't put enough reasoning in why I think pickling is a therapeutic hobby. I don't really know how to word my opinions out, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you got what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. Let's do this one more time uh, from the top, from the title. Pickling is a creative and therapeutic hobby. Just something about sitting down, listening to music, and making pickles just hits different. Plus, it's pretty easy to get the just off. I don't know what that means, people listening to this. But continuing. All you need is water and salt and probably some vinegar and let it sit somewhere warm, warm for a week at bare minimum. Can you get something nice? As a side dish, the flavor combination you can use is more fun. I don't know, excuse me, I know I didn't put enough reasoning in why I think pickling is a therapeutic hobby. I don't really know how to word my opinions out, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you got what I'm trying to say. And that is the end of the opinion. Beer. Okay, let's break down the English pickling. Uh, I don't know if there's a different word for this in Portuguese to pickle things, but maybe conserve, conservar, right? Using vinegar and uh, some, you know, they, they use, they told us salt and vinegar and water. Uh, adding, so that's in English, that's pickling something, to pickle it. You can pickle pepper. <laughs> An English teacher talking about pickling peppers without tentando fazer um trava lingua is, is, was funny to me. I'm sorry, but uh, you can pickle peppers. You can pickle pears. You can pickle any vegetable, fruits. Um, so it's conserving something, right? I think in Brazil, pick, uh, pickling peppers uh, or at least putting them in oil is common to make a hot sauce or something at a restaurant, but pickling it would be, yeah, not oil, it's vinegar. Um, so that is the verb to pickle. The, the activity is called pickling. Just like, you know, to swim, swimming. This is to pickle. Pickling is a creative and therapeutic hobby. Just something about sitting down, uh, making pickles, uh, just hits different. If you're reading this, the letters have to be wrong. G I S T. It. Uh, I don't know how you make that mistake typing on a phone or a computer. Right, the G and the J are not close. The I and the U are close, but yeah, this is a strange, almost like intentionally incorrect set of letters. But I think it just means just just hits different. If something hits, it means it's uh, like batendo, it's the, the way it affects you, 
the way it affects you. Uh, so it just affects you or it just has a different effect. Plus, it's pretty easy to get the just off. I don't know what the fuck he's saying here. Or she. Um, I, I don't even know what they could intend or put in there, intend to mean here. But maybe they're saying it's pretty easy to get the gist of to get the gist of something, right? And I know this sounds confusing because we were just talking about gist hits different being a strange, oh, excuse me, a strange, incorrect spelling, but uh, to get the gist of something is to get the idea, to get the basic details, uh, not all of the details, but just the, the basic, the substance the essence of something is to get the gist of it um, or the point of it. So plus it's pretty easy to get the point or the basics of it. All you need is water and salt. Okay. So yeah, I, I think he means or she means the, the, the basics, the, the point of pickling uh, at a bare, bare, at bare minimum. Just let it sit somewhere hot or warm for a week at bare minimum so bare minimum uh just mean we'll, we'll do bare minimum and then the word bare bare minimum would just mean the least that you can do for something to have effect so for example someone might say when you're barbecuing meat right you need uh smoking meat right no bafo you need to uh keep your meat in the smoker for uh, 10 hours at the bare minimum, meaning that is the least amount of time that you can or should do something. Uh, bare, B-A-R-E, you can have bare feet, um, a bare butt. Bare means without uh, without covering, without, um, without decoration, without clothing, uh, without anything covering. So if someone is barefoot, it means they're not wearing shoes or socks. Uh, naked, nothing added, nothing added, nothing at all added on top, uh, uncovered, exposed. Uh, so that is bare alone right bare minimum just means well the, the, the very least the very 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 least to to accomplish something like cooking or in this case pickling um don't do it for less than a week you can do it more than a week but don't do it less than a week according to heavy worldliness 474 <laughs> uh the flavor combination and eh, nothing too difficult there uh, I know I didn't put enough reasoning why I think pickling is a therapeutic hobby. Uh, I don't really know how to word my opinions. And they say word my opinions out. But uh, in English, word can be a verb. To word something. Como você comunicar alguma coisa, né? Como você construir a frase ou como você usa as palavras para expressar sua opinião. So how do you use words to express what you're thinking? Um, so you might say, ooh, uh, I should have, eu deveria ter uh, worded that differently. Uh, or uh, be careful how you word your apology. It's very important to word it sensitively. So to word something quite literally means to choose the words of how you express yourself. Uh, and anything else here? Beer. I think I'm going to edit the beer out, but I don't know how I'm going to do that because I didn't leave any... Um, <laughs> I don't know where I'm saying beer in these podcast episodes. Um, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you got what I'm trying to say. So to get it. This is a very common expression. Got it. 
You got it? I got it. I didn't get it. Did you get it? I didn't get it. Who got it? Who got that? Anybody got that? Everybody got that? No one got that? To get it uh, is to understand, entender, comprender something. Uh, it's very colloquial. Again, not informal. This is something a boss could say. This is something you might hear a president say or in any formal situation. I just mean it. You know, we have the word understand, and commonly we use the word get or got, right? You got that? Got it? Yeah, got it. Um, so, nothing else to add here on the English. I don't think um, it's not so long. It's about four or five big sentences. Um, listen to it again, right? If it's too difficult, regular single. Play it slower. If it's too easy, don't read the text. Just listen. If it's still too easy, speed it up. 1.5 speed, right? Um, so now the topic. Pickling is a creative and therapeutic hobby. I've never pickled anything in my life. Um, doesn't sound so bad. Uh, it's, it, it, you know, I, I don't like pickles, though. I don't eat pickles. I think pickles are disgusting. Uh, I, I will eat a, a hamburger with pickles on it, uh, but I don't particularly like the pickles. Um, so, uh, I mean, pickled food, other pickled vegetables, not, not, you know, I love Korean barbecue. I don't know in Brazil. I haven't gone to a Korean barbecue in Brazil, but in Korean barbecue, in, in Korean cuisine, right, you will get a bunch of dishes, or acompanhamentos, primera. They, they give it to you before... The, the barbecue is done, right? And so they're not really sides. They're kind of like pre-snacks, appetizers. They're very small little dishes, like this, like smaller than the size of your hand. And a lot of the food is pickled. Um, and, you know, I love Korean food. Some, you know, uh, you know, like kimchi is another great example of something that's basically pickled. But, yeah, not for me. I, I don't like the flavor. This is not about the taste, though. This is about the hobby of pickling things. Uh, and I have no strong opinion. I've never pickled anything. You know, it, it sounds like gardening though, right? You kind of put something in somewhere, you wait, and then something happens, and then boom, you have a, you know, a, a, a something different from when you started. So, yeah, it could be. It could be. Are you, are you pickling anything? Is anyone here pickling stuff? Uh, if you are, what are you pickling? Do you like pickles? I have family members, a brother and a sister and a mom who, who can just, you know, eat entire pickles out of a jar, which to me is absolutely disgusting. Um, so are you eating pickles? Also, uh, have you ever tried pickling as a hobby? Um, because I have not and I can't contribute a lot more than this. Uh, and the English bits, right? So let me know your experience with pickling as a hobby. Uh, and if you have no experience, then let me know what you think of eating pickled things.